As a young boy growing up in the 1950s, William had always been fascinated by the glamorous movie stars of the era. He loved the way they dressed, the way they moved, and the way they captivated audiences. But William also had a secret, he loved to cross-dress. At first, William kept his cross-dressing a secret, sneaking into his mother's closet and trying on her dresses when no one was home. But as he got older, he became more confident. He started wearing his mother's clothes out in public, feeling a sense of excitement and empowerment every time he did. Despite the risk of being caught and ridiculed, William continued to cross-dress, finding a sense of freedom and joy in it. But as he grew older, he realized that he couldn't keep his secret forever. He knew that he would eventually have to tell someone. It wasn't until William was in his 60s that he finally decided to come out to his wife. He sat her down one night and explained everything, how he had been cross-dressing since he was a boy, how it made him feel, and how he wanted to continue doing it. To his surprise, his wife was supportive. She told him that she loved him no matter what and that she wanted him to be happy. She even offered to help him pick out clothes and makeup. With his wife's support, William started exploring his cross-dressing more openly. He began attending drag shows and even started performing himself. He loved the way he felt when he was dressed up as a woman, confident, powerful, and beautiful. But despite his newfound confidence, William still struggled with the fear of being ridiculed or rejected by others. He worried about what his friends and family would think if they found out about his cross-dressing. One day, William attended a drag show where the performers shared their stories of overcoming adversity and finding acceptance. One of the performers, a drag queen named Simone, talked about how she had been rejected by her family and community when she first started performing, but how she had found a new family in the drag community. As William listened to Simone's story, he felt a sense of inspiration and hope. He realized that he wasn't alone, that there were others out there like him who had faced similar challenges and found acceptance. With renewed confidence, William decided to be more open about his cross-dressing. He started attending support groups and even started a blog where he shared his experiences and connected with others in the cross-dressing community. To his surprise, William found that his blog was incredibly popular. People from all over the world reached out to him, thanking him for sharing his story and inspiring them to be more open about their own cross-dressing. As William approached his 70th birthday, he felt a sense of pride and accomplishment. He had faced his fears, overcome his insecurities, and found acceptance in a community that embraced him for who he was. Looking back on his life, William realized that his journey had been a difficult one, but also a rewarding one. He had learned that it was never too late to embrace who he truly was, and that there was a community out there that would accept him for who he was. For William, cross-dressing had become more than just a hobby, it had become a way of life, a source of inspiration and empowerment. He felt grateful for his wife's support and the love of the cross-dressing community, and he knew that he had many more years of joy and fulfillment ahead of him. What we've learned from this story. Age is just a number, and it's never too late to embrace who you truly are. The journey towards self-acceptance is never easy, but it's always worth it. Don't let fear hold you back. The world is full of people who will accept and love you for who you are. Embracing your authentic self is a courageous act that inspires others to do the same. Finding a community that supports and accepts you can make all the difference in your journey towards self-acceptance. Remember that you are never alone, 
There are others out there who share your journey and will support you along the way. 